hello guys thank you for tuning into my channel if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any problem any difficulty in modeling and an analysis in abacus then you can contact with me i have provided my contact details over the screen as well as in the description below so you may contact with me i'll definitely help you and you can contact with me through whatsapp as well as email so here today i'll show you the beam column joint uh, modeling results of a beam column joint considering the transverse frame over here as you can see uh, this is the transfer uh, transverse frame this one is my transverse frame and i uh, have modeled using uh, concrete as well as steel and the properties over here you can see on the screen i have considered it from this paper so the bottom one is transverse frame and the top one is uh, our longitudinal frame i would say so here basically they have tried to find out the collapse of exterior reinforced concrete beam column of assembly concerning the effect of transverse frame so this paper is already available on the internet you can download it i have modeled it so let me show you this uh, steel reinforcement that i have used the elements okay so here we have this beam reinforcement at the joints over here you can see this is the one top bar extra bar provided for negative moment both the joint it is provided and uh, at the middle we have uh, kept uh, distance twice that of uh, the near the support the spacing of the stirrups spacing of the stirrups at the middle is twice that of this uh, near the support let me show you the reinforcement in this column okay. so this is how the longitudinal bars are bending upwards at the section can see the bottom reinforcement so this is what it is if you want to see this intermediate column reinforcement of the intermediate column let me remove it this is how the longitudinal bars are continuous uh, over this uh, intermediate column however this uh, bar that extra bar that is provided for negative movement is uh, you know up to a certain distance only it is not continuous so over here as you can see i have used uh, i'm getting tension tensile damages so these are the point where the concrete is failing is due to tension these are the red points and if i just check compression damage the animation of the tension crack formation so as the analysis progress this is how the tension cracks are forming let me show you once more as the analysis progress actually i have applied load on this intermediate column so this is why this is how this tension cracks are forming So this is how the tension cracks are forming as I have kept this meshing quite uh, coarse uh, we can make such a dense mesh so that 
if you if you just go for dense rinsing then this cracks visualization will be more better so if you want to just check the animation again once more let me play it for you over here you can see these tension cracks are forming all these are the sign of formation of the tension cracks as the analysis progresses the tension cracks are getting bigger and it is increasing so this is just done to you know show you a model so if you have any specific analysis if you can have any specific arrangement just contact with me i'll help you for modeling and analysis if you are having any difficulties and thank you for tuning my channel and please don't forget to subscribe thanks again